just begun this week's blast to number one on American Top 40. I'm Shadow Stevens, and here's another of this week's six debuts. This is the first chart single for a five-man hard rock band from Los Angeles. They made a name for themselves packing clubs around town on the local scene, and then they graduated to a record deal. And now they've made the countdown with their first single from their debut album, Dirty, Rotten, Filthy, Stinking Rich. Here's the band Warrant coming in at number 39 with Down Boy. Casey's Top 40. Well, now we're up to the band Warrant and the story of how peanut butter, newspapers, and an afternoon in a deep freeze all figured into their struggle for success. You see, like most aspiring rock and rollers, the members of Warrant know a thing or two about hard times. Warrant's lead vocalist, Janie Lane, remembers a time when the guys had only $12 to share between them. That's where the peanut butter comes in. Janie says that every day for a week, they'd take a jar of the stuff and spread it on bread with a social security card. That was dinner. One of the reasons the band never had much money was because music wasn't exactly making them rich. Yet, it took so much time that none of the guys could hold down full-time jobs. One band member worked part-time repairing curling irons, while another used to put shrink wrap on video cassettes. Janie Lane was a paper boy, and he remembers mornings when he had to rush straight from a nightclub stage to his paper route without even having time to change clothes. He said he'd throw a raincoat on, deliver papers till 6 in the morning, still dressed in his stage clothes. But the band's toughest work-related ordeal involves both Janie and Warren's drummer Steve Sweet. You see, the two of them once got a job unloading a truck and storing the cargo in a warehouse. Good enough. But they say they didn't know it was frozen goods that they'd be unloading and a refrigerated warehouse that they'd be working in. Steve says he and Janie showed up for work dressed in T-shirts and walked into an absolute icebox. The thermostat standing at a chilly 30 degrees. And Steve says the lowest moment came after they'd been piling all these boxes on big pallets for four hours. You see, that's when they were told that the heavy pallets that they were stacking were facing the wrong way. So they had to tear the whole thing down and start all over again. That was a numbing experience. But it did give the guys some money to live on while they got their rock and roll act together. In fact, this week, the formerly frigid rockers have one of the 40 hottest songs in the USA. At number 37 on Casey's Top 40, Warren with Heaven. Got a picture of your house. Casey's Top 40. I'm Mark Elliott, in for Casey Kasem. These are the most popular songs in the USA. Now, we're up to the group Warrant, whose members say living together, eating together, and even sharing clothes has made them better rock and rollers. To paraphrase the old saying, Warrant believes that the band that stays together plays together, and does a better job of it, too. According to Warrant guitarist Eric Turner, togetherness is the band's watchword. When they're on tour, they all travel in the same bus and even share hotel rooms. Eric told us, quote, It gets lonely when you have your own hotel room. We all party together, share everything. We're actually pretty close. And the togetherness doesn't end when the tours do. When the band gets back to L.A., they all go home to the same house. Eric says living together, getting used to each other's little habits, and even borrowing one another's clothes gives the guys a sense of togetherness that other bands lack. Eric says those other groups sometimes find themselves out on the road, forced to share close quarters for the first time. He says that's a big adjustment to make, and sometimes it leads to trouble. But he says for warrant, sharing close quarters is just business as usual. So they're free to concentrate on what's really important, their music and their live show. He says that in that sense, living together really does make Warrant a better band. Now, here's the latest from that band that plays and stays together. This is Warrant with Sometimes She Cries. Casey's Top 40. Radio plays them, radio and records ranks them, and we count them down on Casey's Top 40. Now, we're up to the latest hit for the hard rock band called Warrant, a group whose lead singer was once arrested when all he was trying to do was hang out with his fans. It happened in the beginning of their career, back when Warrant was opening for heavy metal bands like Poison, Great White, and Rat. One night, opening for Great White, they played a show at the Met Center in Minneapolis. The band came out, did their 45 minutes, and then went off stage with nothing much to do but hang around in their dressing room for the rest of the evening. But the problem was, lead singer Janie Lane was too worked up after performing to just sit around twiddling his thumbs, and so he decided to go out into the arena and watch the rest of the show with the fans. Well, that didn't turn out to be such a good idea. Janie told us he was standing off to one side of the stage watching Great White perform when a small handful of fans noticed him. 
The word that he was out there quickly spread through the arena. Within a matter of minutes, Janie was surrounded by a crushing mob of 1,000 fans, all pushing to get a look at him, to get an autograph, to touch him. Well, Janie quickly realized he'd made a big mistake, and the show had to be stopped while security guards forced their way through the crowd and pulled him to safety. And then, to cap off the evening, Janie was arrested and accused of inciting a riot. Well, luckily, after Janie explained exactly what had happened, the police set him free. But they warned him to think first before mingling with his many fans. This week, Janie Lane and Warrant are mingling among the 40 biggest hits in the USA with the title cut from their brand new CD. Rockin' in at number 38 here on Casey's Top 40. This is a new song called Cherry Pie. She's my cherry pie. Casey's Top 40. Casey's Top 40 originates in Hollywood. Now, we're up to the band Warrant and the story of how they keep the crowd rockin' even after the concert is through. You see, the members of Warrant say they all live to party, and the people they enjoy partying with the most are their fans. The guys in the band say the party doesn't end just because the show does. Instead, almost every night, Warrant's lead singer, Janie Lane, announces to the crowd where the band is going to be after the show, and he invites the fans to join them there. So do the people respond? Oh, you bet they do. They crowd into the after-hours clubs with Warrant by the hundreds, while frantic club owners wonder where all these people suddenly came from. Once, Janie even announced from the stage that Warrant was throwing a party on the band's tour bus. Thousands of fans gathered at the artist's entrance to the arena, far too many to cram onto the bus. But the members of Warren didn't want to disappoint their fans, so they packed as many of them as they could into their dressing room for pictures and autographs. Janie says Warren doesn't want to build up a barrier between the band and the people in the audience. After all, he says it wasn't so long ago that he was the one out in the audience, straining to get a closer look at his heavy metal idols. Janie says he never wants to forget those days, never wants to be in a band that puts on airs. And as the group's bass guitar player Eric Turner puts it, Warrant is a people's band. This week, the people's band that just loves to party with their fans moves up three notches to number 16 on Casey's Top 40. Here's Janie Lane and Warrant with I Saw Red. The hits from Coast to Coast. Shadow Stevens, American Top 40. Some songs are completely made up. Others come from real life. Well, real life has hit the countdown. You see, once upon a time in L.A., there was a girl named Becca Bramlett. She is the daughter of two Top 40 artists from the 1970s, Delaney and Bonnie Bramlett. One day, Becca was introduced to a rock star, the hunky, blonde, too cute for words lead singer of the Red Hot Band Warrant, Janie Lane. Their eyes met, sparks flew, and stars appeared in the sky. Fireworks in red, white, and true blue love. Soon, they were engaged. But then things fell apart. Romance danced away, and finally they broke up. Janie was a tortured soul. His only salvation was to sit down and write a song to purge himself of love's loss. He'll talk about that music, but he won't say much about the lyrics. But Warren's guitarist Joey Allen revealed this. 99.9% .9 of the songs we do are fictitious. They're written about whatever comes to mind. This is the only true-to-life song that we do. Normally, our lyrics are pretty much like a story, a fairy tale, but this one is quite the opposite. It's very much true to life. That song's at number 27 this week. On the raw edge of reality, Warrants, I Saw Red.